You've never had a tuna melt before. Yeah, I don't think I've ever. This is going to be your first tuna melt experience. Yeah. Man, yeah. your first and best, I can guarantee you. <laughs> We are taking a classic diner staple that is the tuna melt. We're gonna flip the script on it today and make a healthier, modern version of it. It's still gonna have its creamy, cheesy profile, but with an exciting twist. It's gonna look something like this. Let's get started. It's exciting, right? Yeah. Let's do it. It's gotta be a good hearty bread. seed sensational. Maybe we'll get seed sensational. Ice Here we cream go. snacks. Here we go. Look at thick of this selection. What? No, no, no. Behind you. What? what? Behind you. Oh. Ice cream snacks. When you're looking for Cantuna, you want to look for the words pull in line caught on the front. It's a more eco friendly way of fishing for the tuna. And if it doesn't have that, then look for an MSC certification. That's the Marine Stewardship Council. Castel Ventrano olives. These are going to make up the base of our salsa. So these have a nice fruity flavor and buttery texture. They're just gonna add a nice punch of brightness and acidity to our salsa. I okay. see you have some Castle Voltron olives there. We're gonna start assembling the salsa. The salsa is really what elevates these tuna melts to a whole nother level, a new level as the kids say. That's what the kids say now, right? We've got our pitted olives, a little bit of olive oil, and just to add a lot of brightness, we're gonna add some fresh lemon juice along with some lemon zest. We've got some salt and a little bit of black pepper. For a little bit of heat, we've got some crushed red pepper flakes. You don't need to add them, but it's nice to have a little base layer of heat. They have those at my favorite restaurant, Pizza Hut. Yeah. Yeah, they're super hot. We've got some fresh chopped parsley. And for a little bit of extra crunch, we've got some roasted unsalted sunflower seeds. You could use pine nuts or almonds, whatever your favorite nut is. So the salsa's done. I'm just gonna let it hang out for maybe about 10 minutes, kind of let all these flavors marry, and we're gonna get working on the tuna. So the color of this tuna, it's a little brown on the outside, but it's very pink on the inside. They didn't add any additional coloring to this tuna. We're gonna add just a tiny bit of mayo to this. It's nice to have that creaminess just to kind of tie everything together. You could also use Greek yogurt if you'd like. We're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice and lemon zest. And it's also great to add some fresh herbs to really liven everything up. So we've got some fresh dill right here. Got a little bit of Dijon mustard, nice little punch. And of course some salt. Even if your canned tuna is salted already, it's nice to add a little bit extra because some of that salt gets lost when you drain it. And some black pepper. People have very strong feelings about tuna melts. Some people disdain of the idea of eating warm tuna, but it's nostalgic. The most potent flavor in a tuna melt is nostalgia. And that's what we're going after here. Let's go ahead and assemble these and get them in the oven. Let's build them. Okay. So we want a nice, sturdy, thick cut bread. Ooh, that is sensational. It is sensational. It's really giving me some resistance. You need a chainsaw? <laughs> I think I do actually. Do you have one on hand? Let's start assembling these. We've got our thick slices of whole grain bread, and we're gonna top them all evenly with the tuna salad. And honestly, canned tuna is just a great way to slip in your omega-3s. We are topping these with a little bit of sharp cheddar. You could use orange cheddar or American, whatever kind of cheese your heart desires. We freshly grated our cheese because if you buy the pre-shredded, normally it has an additive that prevents its meltability. So freshly shred it yourself before you pile it on. And yes, we are gonna pile it on. Pile it on, girl. We're gonna pop these under the broiler for about one to two minutes just until the cheese melts, and then we'll top them off with the salsa. Awesome. Ooh. Tuna melts. Yes, looking super melty. Jamie, those look really good. So they're ooey gooey and melty, and the crust of the bread got nice and crispy. So I think we're ready to top these guys off. You can be extra generous with this because this is that nice salty acidity that a tuna melt really needs to take it away from just a one note meal to something truly spectacular. I'm about to look like a real lady. Like Don't judge me bite. for this. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it my turn? Mm-hmm. Oh wow. You're getting down with that. Yeah, man, I'm gonna, I think I can eat some tuna melts now. Mm -hmm. Did I make you a tuna melt believer? A 100%, That's all that matters. Like, awesome. I'm leaving here to eat more of them. So I'll retire now. So for more recipes like this, make sure you give us a like and a follow on Facebook at The New Healthy with Jamie. Share with your friends, comment, let us know what kind of recipes you would like to see us make over, and we'll see you next time. But you won't see the tuna melts. No, I'm going to be gone them. in five minutes. <laughs>